Hey everyone, Professor Hank here. So today we're going to be talking about multiple assignment and combined assignment operators in C++. So let's go ahead and get started. When we talk about multiple assignment, we're just talking about the ability to assign the same value to several variables at the same time with one statement. And with the combined assignment operators, these are a set of operators that allow us to combine assignment and an arithmetic operation at the same time. So we might want to add five to a variable. We might want to multiply the contents of a variable by 10 and then update that variable with the result. We can do that with one operator rather than using the assignment operator equals and the multiplication operator, okay? So we'll see what that means with an example. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll start off with multiple assignment and multiple assignment, very, 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 very simple. So let's say that we've got three variables or four variables, A, B, C, and D. So instead of doing something like this, A equals five, B equals five, C equals five, D equals five, something like this, where if we would do this in four statements, Instead, we can do this. Instead, we can use one statement. Instead, use one statement. And that statement would look something like this. A equals B equals C equals D equals five. So you can replace these four statements here with this statement right here. So which one is better? Personal preference, right? It's totally up to you which one you like better. It's gonna get translated into the same uh, machine code and it's just an option for you to be able to express your solution in different ways. So the way this executes is that the five gets assigned to the D first, and then D gets assigned to C, and then the C gets assigned to B, and then finally the B gets assigned to A. And so in that way, the five gets assigned to all of the variables with one statement. So if we were to you know, display the contents of those variables, we would see that the five is in fact, assigned to all four variables with the one statement. Okay, so you can see there's the five. Now with combined assignment, we're just gonna have a set of operators and those operators are plus equals, minus equals, times equals, divides equals, and modulus equals. So oftentimes you might want to add say three to a variable. So we might want to do something like this. We might want to say A equals A plus three. Well, the right side gets evaluated first. And so what was in A when this statement executes, it's five because of that multiple assignment on line 17. So the right side executes first, which is gonna be five plus three, which equals eight. And then it's the eight that gets assigned to the A. So it's a two-step process. And if you look at this statement right here, it kind of looks maybe confusing. So instead of doing this, an alternative would be to use the combined assignment operator. So you can just say A plus equals a three, and you're gonna end up with the same result. So you're just adding three to the contents of A. So we see out A, then right here, A equals A plus three. You're gonna see that, you know, we get that eight. So the alternative is to just use that combined assignment operator and you're going to see that we have the same result. Which one's better? It's purely a preference thing. You know, one might be a little bit more natural or more natural expression of your solution than the other. I know for me, A plus equals three seems a little bit more natural than A equals A plus three. But again, it's completely up to you what you want to do. So you can do combined assignment with addition. We've also got, you know, multiplication. So we could do something like A times equals three rather than doing a equals a times three, right? We can just combine it into one operator. And so this is gonna take the contents of A, multiply it by three, and then place that product inside of A. So A had five in it by the time it gets down to here because of this multiple assignment statement right here. So that's going to be the same thing, or this means the exact same thing is A equals A times three. And so that's gonna be 15. And so A is gonna contain 15. Okay, and so the rest work in a similar fashion. So the addition, the subtraction, the multiplication, the division, and the modulus, okay? So now you know how to do multiple assignment and use combined assignment operators in C++. Thanks for watching.